the best thing that's ever happened to me um, was my husband. This is Kelly Pickler dancing on Dancing with the Stars in 2013. Her husband, songwriter Kyle Jacobs, is singing for her and partner Derek Huff as they rumba. The song is called Say I Do and it was written by Kyle. I don't need nothing, nothing but me and you. Quote, he's my sanctuary, my rock, Kelly would say at the time. When Kyle played Say I Do for me for the first time, I fell to pieces. That song is my life, it's our story. <laughs> At the end of a beautiful dance, Kelly would run to her husband and give him a big hug. Watching this all today stinks, as we now know she's grieving and will be for a lifetime. I just want to love, want you to love me too. Kyle would later cut a studio version of the song over footage from their wedding day. We've put a link to it in the corner and description section of this video. Quote, there's not many weddings I've been a part of where, spiritually, you felt like you were part of it. Wedding planner Angela Prophet would later say, In the days since Kyle Jacobs' death by suicide, Kelly remained quiet. But when you look back at what she shared about the marriage, it's clear that she wasn't exaggerating when she said, quote, The best thing that ever happened to me was my husband. In that same Dancing with the Stars video, she explains that because her father battled alcoholism and her mother was gone from her life at a very young age, she had nothing or no one to anchor her. The couple began dating in 2008 after meeting at a bar, and there are two different versions of the story. One is that he said, quote, my name is Kyle, I'm a songwriter, and she sort of rolled her eyes. The other is that she spied him from across the room and a mutual friend introduced them. After riding together and enjoying a first date at Cracker Barrel, they started to fall in love and became engaged in June 2010 after he hid a box with a wedding ring for her along a beach where they were at on vacation. Quote, Afterward, we just held each other and had the most beautiful prayer, he said. They got married on New Year's Day 2011. Quote, When two people get married, it's not about the glamour. It's about the bride and groom and God, she'd tell people a few days later. In the years that followed, they loved and traveled and wrote songs together. Here are some of our favorite photos from their Instagram pages. A lifelong commitment to American troops is one thing they shared, and over a decade, they'd embark on several USO tours. In 2015, they began starring in a show called I Love Kelly Pickler together on CMT. It was sort of like a modern reality TV version of I Love Lucy. One of my favorite things about Kelly is just the way she looks at life. She just, she loves to laugh. You laugh at it, it just kind of makes everything a little bit better. I love that about her. Links in the corner and description for an amazing package of highlights from that show. It'll make you laugh and maybe cry a little today. Kyle is by far my greatest treasure. I'd be absolutely lost without him. We made a video about how Kyle died and so far no further details have been released, but subscribers know that we will share what's necessary with sensitivity at the appropriate time. In 2015, she talked about making music with him, joking that, quote, yes, it's true, I'm sleepy with my producer. He's so good at what he does, she told People. I'm so excited to be in the studio again recording a new album, and working with Kyle has been amazing. Sadly, that album was never released, but there are several songs they wrote together available, like One Last Time, Going Out of Style, and Happy on her self-titled album. On her next album, they wrote this heart-wrenching song together. Oh, I wish it could be that way every Mother's Day. Kyle also helped her write the title track to her most recent album, The Woman I Am. complete list of songs Kyle has written, visit the link in the description. Quote, I love that my wife Kelly Pickler loves living life on the edge, Kyle would write in 2018, sharing a picture of her in Alaska. <laughs> a bat out of hell has nothing on my wife's driving, he'd joke a year earlier. As I mentioned, Kelly hasn't reacted publicly to losing her husband. She's currently a host on Sirius XM's The Highway, but is understandably taking time off. On social media, she's yet to post in 2023, although her fans are finding her and doing their best to lift her up. We can do the same. Drop a comment below and remember that if you or someone you know needs help, visit 988lifeline.org. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching.